Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And if you've been watching this channel a long time, you might realize that this garage here, 1B up here, is kind of home to a lot of sentimental favorites. Cars that represent real cars from my own life. For instance, this is the legendary blank. My brother-in-law actually had a license plate that said blank on his car. Which, you know, is just a classic. Like the fact that they even let you say, well, what was the license plate? License plate was blank. Okay, well... Um, but this this car it it represents a Hyundai Sonata that went well over probably four hundred thousand miles. I mean it's the odometer stopped at three hundred something thousand, and then he drove it and drove it and drove it until you know eventually quit on the uh, Schuylkill Expressway, and that was uh, the end of that. But it's, it's a legendary car. This uh, this faction represents my own nineteen eighty one Buick Regal. Which was not a GNX or anything like that, but it was a wonderful car, and I've got that pretty, pretty much down to the the wheels and everything. That's an exact replica. Of course, it was a, a 3.8 liter V6, non-turbo, as opposed to a 400 cubic inch turbo engine. But you know, it, you'll you'll have this. This represents an Impala that my grandfather had that I remember very clearly from my youth. Uh, this is a car I've never seen actually, but my mom had a uh, a similarly painted GTO. Back in the, you know, in the before she got married to my dad in the early days of their marriage. And uh, the reason she got rid of the goat was because when they got married, their marriage car, the wedding car, was a 1969 Mach 1, which these cars have all in some way tried to emulate. They've tried to kind of capture some kind of the, the color scheme and, you know, the, the paint scheme, the, the stripes on it. This one probably, you know, except for the didn't have the stripe on the roof. I mean, you got it's it's, it's a Dominator. The Tampa was kind of as close as you get because there's some Mustang elements of that, although not really in some sense. Only now with the tuners update, um, all of these are kind of obsolete as far as that role. I don't plan on getting rid of them. I, I really don't plan on getting rid of them, but because I just fond of them, just having them there. You know, if I'm, you know, the Tampa's a nice car. If there's ever a tuner's race, or not tuner, if there's ever, a, if I remember a, a race that's in uh, muscles of a certain tier, the Dominator might be good. This is just my killer car for, you know, duel and stuff like that. It's just, I, this comes up. Almost every muscle stunt race, the, the GNX will dominate because of it's so good in the corners. It's, it's a funny thing, but there's, there's only a couple. Yeah, tre the trench one probably not as much, but the other two, yeah, that's that's just one. So I'm not getting rid of them, and I only have two parking spaces left in, in all of my properties. I haven't gotten the uh, the new property for the tuners update yet, which gives me ten more parking spaces. I will eventually have to do it. Uh, I really don't want to take on all the jobs and the heists and stuff to go along with that just yet. So we're just going to work what we have. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to at least. I'm going to move the Tampa down, the non, the non-dominator, and we're going to move this down to, down to the arena parking garage number one, the, the basically the sub level, because that's one of the places I have one parking spot, and then we're going to go into the the second basement. We're going to bring up the new tuner car that uh, absolutely makes these obsolete in the role that they're, they're, they were picked for. Because it so much more perfectly captures my dad's Mach 1. And something's going on there. I don't know what's going on. Oh, we hit a... didn't quite squeak through. I was trying to squeak. There was some squeaking going on there and it didn't quite squeak, did it? trying to do all this kind of quickly as a quick video because I do have a phone call going on. What's going on with the Helio chopper? That's just... Yeah, I'm waiting on a call. I might be doing some photography tonight, so we'll have to see. I got a call. Mon Monsignor is changing from our church to another church, and I've been in heavily involved in a lot of the the live streaming and stuff like that. But the town council now wants to give him a plaque and they need someone to take pictures. Why am I doing this? This is the wrong time. I'm not supposed to get out here. And they called me up like last minute. They want to know if I can take his picture down in. I'm like, well, hey, I'm two minutes away. I can do that. So we're going to move this here to make room up in garage number one of the office. 
But I'm now waiting for the council member to call me and see if they can get a hold of Montaigne. So that's may or may not happen tonight. But let's see what, what goes on. Okay, we get out of here. This is now a full garage. And hey, look, it's right across from my other Tampa. So we got their the caddy corner. And we'll go down here to garage level B2, which is going to be... Which is now going to have one of my last uh, parking spaces. And look at this. I mean, you know, if you've seen... You've, if, this is not a surprise if you've seen some of my other videos. That! Now that is what I was looking for. This is... This is you know, the search is over. You were with me. Well, not all the while. You were... You just came out of nowhere, you know, basically. And it looks like someone's got an Arena Wars thing going there. There's a lot of activity here. Can we escape? Ooh, Drifter. He, he drifted a little bit much. Okay, we're just going to power out of this. I will say this. There's, there's a lot more people just cruising around. Now that... The, the tuner's update is out, and I think that's a wonderful thing. It's become Grand Theft Auto, which should always be a very car-oriented thing, is now more car-oriented. In case you're wondering, I'm not just going with the disco lights on the bottom for no reason. That apparently moves your center of gravity downward, so you get a little bit of handling out of it. I dig this car. I, I, I feel like it's got to be a competitive muscle car. I'll be shocked if this is like a middle of the, of the road as far as lap time. It just feels good. Now, what it could be is that it could be, you know, it could be that it just the handling feels so good because it's not quite that fast so that it doesn't feel like you're losing control all the time, but I, I don't feel like that. I feel like it's got a pretty good pace to it. Got the brushed gold going. I'm surprised that you get like a pearlescent effect off the brushed gold. Now, there you have it. I think some of those might be pure gold. But, I mean, that... The lines of that are cut so real. It's, it's like the other cars don't look as real. It's just beautiful, and I'm very happy with it. That's, that's just lovely. Okay, I think that what we're going to have to do now... I'm going to see if I can get a couple races in with it. I really need to get a faster tuner car. Because I, you know, I don't know that this one has the handling to, to hack the races. I mean, or I don't have the skill with it yet. And certainly, oh, this is, this is interesting stuff. It's, um, yeah, look, give me a, give me a map. It's not too bad to get down there, but. Whee! Okay, we're going to, as a body meets a body, coming through the rye of this guy, and then, whoa, break and go. I don't know if it's going to stay. If it, let's say this is the new fastest muscle car. Um, there's another muscle car coming out, apparently. There's, it's, you know, I was watching Ruffy's stream today. Uh, and he mentioned he's going to have another video coming out d describing in more detail all the drip feed cars. Uh, I know, link in the description as always. But the apparently there's a uh, like a 2000s Mustang Cobra that they're calling the Dominator Asp, which makes uh, Asp, which makes uh, more sense, not the Dominator Ass, Dominator Asp. But so there's they have a Mustang Cobra in the game. I'm thinking, how can that not? end up being the fastest muscle car. It's, it's Those things had power relative to the other muscle cars. It should have handling. It should be the most perfectly balanced thing ever. Why are there like randomly placed cars everywhere? I don't understand what's going on with that. Let's zip down here. We drifted in a little bit. Bringing you the wow! Look at that. There's so much pearlescent effect coming off the, and it you can't get pearlescent on the gold. It's just metal. It's just reflecting the light. I don't know. But my goal here. Up oh, there's the phone call. Let me take this on.
And we're on. So I'm on. I got what? Okay, I got like 20 minutes here, and then I'm really going to have to pull myself together and hustle things up. All right, let's just do a few races. Is this where you do the race time organizational? Where do you where do you meet up with the guys to get who are doing the the racing? I think it's this blue car over here. Okay, let me let me set an alarm just so that I know. Because I can't see myself getting wrapped up in racing here. Um, yeah, let's just set this, change that to PM. Okay, and then we're good. Up oh, there's football. Okay, so there's that. First of all, I just noticed this. Does that not look like, well, it's got the different livery on it, but it's very similar to my own uh, you know, St. Patty's Day special, except it's got the white instead of the gold. So if I walk up here, street race me. And we're going to take out the, the, the GTT here because it's the only tuna car I've got. Unless the organizer, whoever race this is, whoever the host is, picks different something different than tuners, if you can. Well, we got racing going on. Standard, it is tuners. Customs are on, so we do need to go with... I, I tried this with, you know, just a, a, a stock car once. It didn't go well. Well, it didn't go badly, but... The marshmallow left. But barcode's joining. Okay, we've, we're full boat. Kick it. There we go. Honestly, my, my chances of a top three here, which is my goal, are not necessarily good, but we're going to give it a shot. We'll see if the track is good for the car. Otherwise, I may have to just go buy something. and I don't know what yet. Okay, so if you're going by the weirdest or most provocative outfit... Whoa, what the heck was that? Someone left. Who would it be? Who would it be? I'm ready. Take a picture. Click, clack. Clickety, clack. You may have noticed I'm not, you know, I might be putting win on Sunday on these. I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, hold off any of these racing videos until, uh, until Sundays. I'm just going to feed them up as fast as I can here because it's topical, you know. All right, that's always a little disorienting. Okay, where am I going? Oh, oh, into the tree. I just hurt myself. There's supposed to be a, a shortcut someplace. I don't see how that would be a shortcut. I might have taken too far back a view here, but all right, let's... Let's do low and close and then try and see a little bit more ahead of us. As it stands right now, that riding, driving into the tree, not helpful. I hope he doesn't take that personally. It's just that you're, you're coming into my space, man. See, it's not going to handle like some of the sports cars well. That's just the nature of muscle. But now as I get into the rhythm of it, Okay, it's got some some energy to it though. I got hit. Got launched a little bit, but we've been, we've made our way to the top three. So I 
mean, I don't know the shortcut, so that's going to be problematic. Oh, dear. Brakes, 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 go. Now, losing places on that. He got, slipped, he got the slip at the right time, or the, the, the wrong time and made it work. So you need to get uh, a podium uh, three days in a row to, to unlock the, the free car, so the prize car. Get the tree, bush, not the tree. At least we have that going for us. New pre that's the first only best I've ever had. You were the best I'd ever had. Okay, a little breaks go a long way. Um, excuse me while I just try to focus and race clean. This car takes a lot of concentration to drive, but I think it's good. Like I said, it's not going to be the easiest thing to get times with, but... It's got some strengths. Okay, one more to go. We pulled out a gap. But I'm not going to rely on the gap. And we're closing on the leader. I probably still need him to make a mistake, but like that. Okay. Gloves are off. I was trying to pass you clean there, son. You were the one who made the mistake. Now, as far as I'm concerned, you're not there. I'll drive through you if I have to. Ho oh, ho! Karma! I didn't have to take him out. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, focus. <laughs> that was okay, I'm just going to focus. Bringing home a win in Dad's Mustang. Are we recording? Yes, uh, we're recording. All right, karma. Car he got he carved it. Someone carved him, and then he carved himself. He tried to torpedo me, I think, on that last turn, and then it was just like miss, miss totally. GG.
Okay, so that was for today. I'll have to try and do this again tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe the GTT has some strengths. And, uh, you know, maybe it, maybe the tuners class is pretty well balanced. What happened here? Oh, for a minute, I thought the game froze. Well, that boosted up to Rep 4. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, see, he must have been wrecking other people, too. You know, I was I, I had a good lap. The best lap was still in that Jester RR. But I mean, still, that wasn't that's not bad. A 155. It will be interesting interesting to see how much. You know, is it? Am I in a good car? or Am I just driving? Well, I don't know. I've done the business end before. A lot of people said the heck with that. And a lot cat left, so all right. So the bumpy McBump Meister of that round is gone. I mean, I've only driven it twice, so it's not like I got the track memorized. I certainly don't know the the shortcuts yet. The shortcuts sometimes they're going for a midnight run kind of thing, which is a game I've never played. But. Um, I don't know if they always work for you. I mean, there's probably a couple that really work if you get them right, but... Maybe one really good one for track, but... Tuners. Customs are on. I've already met the requirement of getting, you know, a, a podium, a top three, for, for today. On both characters. I'm going to try and get the free car of both characters. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to get uh, you know get the, the new garages for them, and then start making hard decisions about what to keep. Because I mean, I'll tell you, it's getting tight. Like I don't really want to get rid of that regular Dominator that's in the gold, but I mean, I don't know. Am I ever going to drive that instead of the Piss Foster Dominator? Let's look at Ruffy's tiers and see if there's a, a reason to keep the a regular Dominator. Okay, can we boost around these guys? I'm in the back. I like this car. Ooh, he squeezed me out and then the two purple cars collected each other. Not giving me lots of room. Alright, he didn't take me out though. He took the shortcut. Which, I mean, allows me to carry a lot more speed around here. I don't think my car is terribly uh, good at shortcuts. It's not got, like, the traction. It looks like they both took it and both got an advantage from it. But I don't know. I have to, again, I don't know where the shortcuts are. So we're back down to fourth, and that's still not bad. Ooh, we lost it on the landing. I'm trying to loosen that turn up. We got another spin out. Well, that's just a, a decorative car. Ah, personal best. Let's keep building them personal this. Looks like no one's around to bother me, so I can at least try and get some stuff accomplished here.
The shortcuts through the construction site, that seems fraught with danger to me. Like, I could easily wreck it out and lose a lot of time. Like that. Oh, I'm so stuck. Did he hang back in order to jam me again? Or did he just get caught on me? I don't even know. I mean, that was my mistake. I got I hit a, a concrete pillar, you know? But All right, let's see what we can make out of it. Fourth is still not bad. This is not going to be a personal best because I hit a pole. Kind of drifted into it. No, that is that isn't a decoration. That's a player. Someone, I think they caught each other on the crisscross. I'm back in a third. Okay, I got lucky on the crisscross. Nothing happened to me. I, I don't even see... Oh, here you go. Okay, this is like, where the hell am I supposed to be going? This is not better. I'm never doing that again. No, it's... Well, I'm not saying never, never, but... That seems slower. That seemed way slower than going the other way. I think everybody's having problems because I'm I'm zipping away here. Fourth is not threatening. Like a solid third from this car. Third place? We, 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 that's two races where we would have... What the heck is that? There's like a hand... Did somebody get run over? We run over one of the NPCs? Okay, well this is... Let's find someone moving. Ah, Fudo. when the poor NPCs got clipped. <laughs> Someone's making a point of... All right, third. 433, 254. You get a little bit of money. Five grand even. I checked the clock. I think I can do... One more race. I'm, I'm way off the pace there. Of the top two, the Jester R and the Calico DTF. Those are probably going to be your fastest cars. I've never owned any kind of Jester. That might be something to try too. The Calico looks good. What are they picking? I'm always one for the new experience because I don't get to vote. They're taking my voting capability away because apparently it's settled. That's interesting. He's saying the Calico is good with street suspension. Not all the way down. Hmm. We're loaded up here. Tuner, night, weather, bright. Bright night? Customs are off. Ooh. We could try the Calico or we could try the Jester. Can we get crew? Let's get a crew. There's the Jester RR. I'm going to try the Calico simply because... It did well last time. Why not? 
Hey, you think the Calico was a good choice, or should I take in the Jester? I took the Calico, but I really wanted the Carbonazzi. Looks like everyone's taking Calicos. Well, let me do at least a lot of them. I don't have a lot of room here for the Turbo Boost. Was in a lot of room there. With this, this almost looks like Drag Kings of Los Santos. At least the first row. Oh dear. Yes, it's it's different from that afterwards. But you know that first couple of turns. It's like, oh wait a minute. This does feel quick, but it also feels wildly unstable. Very bouncy. Okay, that's the shortcut, apparently. I just followed somebody through. Wasn't even trying to do a shortcut, but... We both had the same thing. We just jumped through the air and got into the, uh... Oh, dear. Okay, we're back. No room for a pass there. Okay, maybe down through this way? Ah, there we'll have a pass. Ooh, come on, you know. Hey, thanks for showing me the shortcut. Was this a shortcut? Oh, I guess the shortcuts are so good you can wreck and still keep your position, but... Fourth is... Closing on me quick. Not necessarily quick enough, though. Podiums all around. Let's go. That's not a bad car. Not bad at all. GG, guys. Gotta go. And I do. I really do. I have to get pull myself together here and get a bunch of other things done. I tell you what, so far I'm liking this update. This is a nice update so far. I mean, this giving me my, you know, one of the most significant cars in my in, that was in my life as a digital car to drive. My dad's uh, dad's Mustang. I almost had you dominating. So must be doing some stuff right here. I was not on the pace with that, but but we can like it. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.